hello everyone thanks for watching our videos uh, and hope it is helpful for your studies so the next level of uh, nlp is discourse analysis so in the previous videos i have explained the lexical analysis syntactic analysis and also semantic analysis if you are not watched the videos you can go back and watch the videos and also i have mentioned the link in the description box you can directly watch the videos through that link so coming to the discourse analysis it requires the discourse knowledge so for this discourse analysis or for the processing purpose we, we must have the uh, discourse knowledge what is this discourse knowledge discourse knowledge is nothing but how the meaning of a sentence how the meaning of a sentence is related with the preceding sentence okay this discourse knowledge is nothing but how the meaning of a sentence or present sentence it is uh, related with the preceding sentence example how pronoun refers to the preceding uh, noun okay uh, for example i can uh, consider uh, some uh, okay pooja she is a good girl and uh, pooja is a good girl uh, she is a topper uh, she likes food and uh, she likes dancing okay uh, here uh, pooja is a noun and uh, for the further um, uh, statements that is she is a topper uh, she is a uh, she likes food she likes dancing i am using she instead of pooja so how this she is related what is this she exactly she is nothing but puja so this is what i have changed the uh, puja name to she that is pronoun right how uh, why how i have uh, converted uh, she because i have a relationship with puja that is a preceding sentence so this is what uh, this uh, discourse knowledge means how the meaning of a sentence uh, is related with the preceding sentence okay uh, then uh, it gives the structure and meaning of uh, still larger units okay uh, so consider uh, the first level of representation it's a lexical uh, analysis so in that uh, it's a word level representation so coming to the syntactic it's a sentence level representation so here it is still larger units that is it represents the phrases even uh, the paragraphs okay so this is a still high level uh, representation of larger units and also it also requires uh, phragmatic knowledge to resolve the anaphoric uh, references okay uh, it also requires the uh, phragmatic knowledge what exactly this phragmatic knowledge uh, and uh, what all the rules that phragmatic knowledge takes i'll be explaining it uh, in the next videos uh, don't worry about it you just uh, keep it in mind it requires the phragmatic knowledge okay so consider an example see here um, the uh, these uh, so please uh, make a note of these example because these are the two example i have uh, taken from the textbook uh, so writing this uh, textbook examples add an extra value uh, for your answers so the example is uh, the district uh, district administration refused to give the trade union permission uh, for the meeting because uh, they feared uh, violence here uh, the confusion arises uh, in they because here the they refers to the in first sentence uh, because they feared violence here they refers to the district administration okay so let us consider the second uh, example that is the district administration refused to uh, give the trade union uh, permission for the meeting because they oppose governance okay see here the in the second sentence they refers to the meeting right that is um, uh, the people who are participating in the meeting they are feared to give the permission for the meeting because they oppose the governance because the, the people they are opposing the government government so they are uh, refused to give the uh, what that permission so here uh, in the first sentence uh, they refers to the district administration in the second sentence they refers to the meeting so here we will be having the confusions or so um, and also uh, according to this uh, discourse knowledge it is nothing but it is related to the previous uh, sentence how the uh, sentence is related with the preceding sentence that is what here uh, explained and uh, so i'll be taking one more example uh, for uh, for your convenience uh, so that uh, it will be easy for you guys to understand okay so the next example is that the parents refuse to give phone to the children because they are afraid of addictions here the uh, the word they refers to the parents okay so read the sentence carefully the parents refused to give the phone the parents are refused uh, to give the phone to whom to the children because why because they are afraid of addiction who they they means they are the parents parents are afraid of addiction uh, that uh, children will get addicted to the phones so that is the uh, what's that fear uh, that the parents are having so here they represent a uh, parent 
and uh, considering the second um, uh, sentence the parents refuse to give phone to the children because they are addicted uh, this is the second sentence so here they is nothing but children see we wrote the sentence carefully once again here the parents refuse to give phone to the children okay they are parents are refused they are not uh, giving the phones to the children why because they are addicted who who are addicted because the children are addicted so here the they represents uh, children so this is the example uh, for the discourse analysis hope this video is help helpful uh, so thank you so much for watching our videos